Different kinds of memos are hanging up, but there's nothing of particular interest. I think I've seen Brookhaven Hospital in Silent Hill 3. I have a memory of that little, I think it's an air vent that you can see at the bottom left of the screen. I have a memory of thinking that looked kind of like a chalkboard. And I think that was from Silent Hill 3. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just right there in front of me. Something's written on it. The potential for this illness exists in all people, and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven, like him, to the other side. The other side, perhaps, may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there's no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher or even a psychiatrist. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. But to him, there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, he's happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Something else is written by hand. I got the key from Joseph. It's probably the key to that box. Purple bowl key. Different types of papers and documents, but there's nothing of interest for me. Is James looking at something? Oh, James is looking at Maria. I wish I could talk to them. Explore Brookhaven. leaving the first floor. Not yet. Doubt the elevator's gonna work. Pressing the buttons, but the elevator doesn't move. Try the bathrooms. 
Aside from that, that's pretty much it for this floor. Oh, I didn't try doctor's lounge either. Or examination room one. Sorry. Looks like the lock is broken. Yeah, that was all of them. Let's go check out the kitchen and the day room down here. Oh, I can't even get to the other ones. They're all boarded up. Or just blocked off, really, with furniture. Let's try a different floor. Let's go down. <laughs> sure, there's a lovely morgue down here. Oh. Somebody saved me the trouble. Thank you. Okay, that's not working out too well. I think I should switch to the pistol, and I think... Oh, I have a lot of health drinks. Let's use a couple. Maybe just one? It's hard to tell how much health I have. always some sort of a new type of horrible nurse in all of the Silent Hills when you go into a hospital. They're all different and all horrible. So that was my first test of, not the wooden plank, the steel pipe. A weapon I just found recently, sticking out of that car. Yeah, these enemies just attack too quickly for me to really use something that slow. Maybe against other enemies. There's a typewriter here. I've got no use for this. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? There's a sheet of carbon paper still stuck in the typewriter. I can still read the imprint left on it. I know it. I know the number of the box. 5465. It can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me, so nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am is who I am is who I am is scattered papers just plain white paper
hate the way they writhe on the ground. I still have almost a hundred rounds for the pistol. Looking at the nurse. Their flesh is all pale like they're a corpse and their head is all just completely covered in bloody bandages. Did they get back up, or is that a new one? Lapis Eye Key. Shotgun shells. It's interesting that Maria just kind of shows up in the room. They're often not next to me when I come in, but somewhere else in the room. over the elevator's call button. It's locked and I can't get it open. The last door in the hallway seems to always work. that camera angle that like twists to the side. Let's go back to the main room, check out the nurse's station, linen room, all that stuff. just have bandages all over their faces. It also looked like their head just kind of came to a... like a... like it's just a bunch of mangled flesh on their head. Looked like it all came to like a circle at the front of their face that was sort of open. I, I don't know how to describe it. It was bad.
locker room. There's something inside the pocket of the white lab jacket. Examination room key. There's a white lab jacket. There's nothing particularly interesting. There's a magazine here. Won't do me any good right now. So I have the lapis eye key. Purple bowl key? These are very different types of keys. An eye is carved into the top of the key. The iris part is made of a lapis lazuli. Examination room is written on the tag. Examining room three, we were able to go inside of. So I don't think it's on this floor. Wait, what is this? Oh, are all the different floors on one map? Second floor, third floor, RF, roof. This is probably a good candidate for using the pipe. Yeah. That worked well. I have so much ammo, I don't really feel like I need to conserve it. I have almost a hundred shots, but better to conserve it so you have more than you need than to run out during trying to fight something really powerful. Mm, that's it for this floor. Let's try to go to the third floor. such a spike of stress and then relief when that grinding, crunching music stops. code of the box? I don't think this is the box, but I might as well try it. 5465.
Let's need more digits. Nah, I just don't think it tells you if you're wrong. It just doesn't do anything if you're wrong. Let's try to go to the roof. So the key we have for the examination room must be on the first floor. This one. The shelf's glass door is open. What's this file? Lab results from a personality disorder test. Lab results? I don't want to read this. There are medical records on the desk, nothing particularly interesting. Where is this? Doctor's lounge. There's a memo hanging on the fridge. Food only. Do not store drugs. Seems sensible. Fair enough. Third floor patient wing hall. Oh, that's the password. 7335. I should go save. Third floor keypad, 
It's one of those mannequin things in the corner. Let's use the pipe on him. a lot of cells. Very, very small. The hell is that green stuff? Reminds me of the green stuff we saw in that hole in the room with butterflies all over the place. There's like green stuff leaking out of the hole and we reached in and found something. Something's stuck in the drainage pipe. To me, that looks like a human ear, maybe. <laughs> I hope not. The hole is too small, I can't get my hand inside to reach it. Maybe if I had a long, narrow tool of some kind. I don't think I have anything like that. No, I can't use these weapons, only equip them. No, I need something. Just a hangover. You should rest. Mm. <clears throat> so comfy. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. I'll be okay soon. <coughs> Did you find Laura? <clears throat> James, I want to ask you something. What if... What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? I haven't thought about that. roof key was in a little pool of blood
last door always works. This must be the box. There's something written on the wall. Louise, I'll take care of you for ever. It's my destiny. Four. Four spelled like the number four. That must be a hint. This thing just looks monstrous. It's gonna need keys and multiple passwords. Which one to start with? Well, we had a note that says, I know the number of the box, 5465. So that's probably one of the numbers. Let's try it on both, 5465. So not that one, five, four, six, five. Okay, it's that one, but I suppose it doesn't really get us anywhere, does it? Closer, but do I have a key for this? Purple bowl key. Maybe, yeah. Oh, I think that goes in here, the in the front of the box, once we get all of these off. So I think I still need a key and another passcode. And then I think I can use the purple bowl key. What about, not the roof key, what about this lapis eye key? Okay. Yeah, just one more passcode and then we're in. <laughs> Didn't feel like taking out my weapon for that. It's probably time to go to the roof, huh? Let's go check on Maria. I'm doing all right. James, I want to ask you something. What if... What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? I haven't thought about that. Let's go to the roof. Got the key for it. something on the floor. Is this a diary? May 9th. Rain. Stared out the window all day. Peaceful here. Nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10th. Still raining. Talked with the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic. Weak. Not everyone can be strong. May 11th. Rain again. The meds made me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? May 12th. Rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. 
It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. May 13th. It's clear outside. The doctors told me I've been released. That I've got to go home. I... The diary ends here. There are no more entries. I get the feeling... That was by Maria, perhaps? I get the feeling that Maria settling down to sleep in cell three. I got a feeling they went there specifically because it was their cell. What was the diary doing up here? The door won't open. Something is holding it closed from the other side. It won't open no matter how hard I try. That's the door I just came from. <laughs>